as someone who's been involved in the section for, for a good while, why are you proud to be a member of the society? What, what, you know, what does that feel like for you? It feels great. Um, the, the VES, like I had been interested in visual effects since I was five years old. I knew this is what I wanted to do for a living. So to have an organization of like-minded people who are you know, all different ages, all different walks of life, who are as excited about visual effects and storytelling and film as I am, it's just a wonderful group to be a part of. Um, our section in Washington is fantastic because it contains so many, uh, like we're not just film visual effects, we have so many other disciplines from um, uh, not just programmers and engineers and software engineers who are building the next generation video card, but obviously a huge, uh, Seattle's a huge game development uh, town. Uh, we have you know AAA game studios there, and so a lot of our memberships uh, come in from those uh, backgrounds, and they're just as nerdy and excited to be a part of, of, of that generation of entertainment as, as I have been to be part of like the traditional film and, and animation entertainment. So I love being a part of the society because we're all a bunch of crazy artistic nerds getting to do the things we love to do for a living. So, yeah. so on that note, you have built your professional career around this industry. What about visual effects in this industry spoke to you? Why has why it en engaged you for all these years? Oh, that's a great question. The way that visual effects is able to, to tell a story uh, in, in a very visceral visual way and, and to create worlds that don't exist, that shouldn't exist, that can exist through the magic of visual effects, um, that's I think what drew me is just the, the storytelling aspect and the ability to tell any story you wanted to tell because visual effects would help you tell it. So we care a lot about building up the pipeline of the next generation of practitioners and visionaries. So like as a teacher, as someone who's been in the field for a long time, what are your lessons learned or go-to advice for aspiring yeah. practitioners? Well, my big advice uh, beyond uh, be patient, <laughs> because both the game and the film industry, the visual effects industry right now, it's been going through a rocky spot. But, but that, I think that just kind of, I double down on the advice that I usually give them uh, even so. And that's to be persistent uh, and, and not, to, not to give up easily, to, to, to realize that it's gonna be hard work, but if you keep putting in that work, then, then you're, gonna get, you're gonna get to do what you always dreamed of doing. Um, and, and I also tell them to be adaptable. Like, you may not get to do the thing that you think you want to do. You might get to do some other things that are adjacent to it. I certainly started my career doing a lot of different grab bag of different things before I found the thing that I really loved. Um, and um, so, yeah, I told them to be persistent and to be adaptable, um, uh, especially today.